Hello, how are you fans? Okay, I think that are you fine? That was season one change, and we here remember those the very famous lineup: Ashti Colrys, O2 Westwin, O Westwin, if. If winter comes, the spring be far behind, and now we can think that there was a season was changed, and the, the beauty of the nature was gradually enriched. And we have now we have also enriched your education because the graduation the time is going on. Each and every people we have to complete it. the two to unit of the portion of the your peoples. Okay, friends. In paper ten, history of English language, unit three. We completed that. I again and again remember that that course was going on. First one is homophone homonyms, influence of Arthasism, influence of dialects, development of dictionary. In the last video we discussed about the. I also forget about it. Do you remember about it? Yes, standard English. And the, and the now today we discuss about word formation. The most important topic of the English language. What words, verb, noun, pronouns, articles, part of speech. Dear friends, parts of speech. There was article, noun, pronoun, adverb, adjective, interjection, conjunction. These are the we can say the even the language use the words preposition, pronoun. These are the words formation. Formation. You understand the word by dear friends. Formation. Form is a word. Formation के आकार आपको स्वरूप आपको word formation generally you can and you can say that English language has the richest and the most extensive vocabulary English language the most richest so it is a root and most extensive whispered vocabulary and give the example how that with the last some of the video we discussed the development of dictionary dear friend we can use that there are the number of the dictionary develop each new dictionary has adding the new words new vocabulary new quotations new citations and gradually it was become the thesaurus and there was development of dictionary and here came the what is it how can it be still different in 1755 New English Dictionary of uh, of English Language written by the 1755 by the Dr. Samuel Johnson. In 1755, in the time Dr. Samuel English Dictionary has 48,000 words. How many words? There are the 48,000 words. But later on, in 1928, and uh, there was a Philosophical Society published. English New English Dictionary of Historical Principles, New English Dictionary of the Historical Principles, published by the Philosophical Society, and it was so. There are six volumes. Was a, there was a, more than six volumes of that book, and that was a day in this dictionary. And there was even there the shorter Oxford Dictionary. There were two volumes of. There was a comprehensive. The six volumes of comprehensive. And they converted into the shorter Oxford Dictionary of two volumes. In this shorter Oxford Dictionary, we have here that four lakhs word. You find out that only up to two hundred, the gap of the two hundred years, about two hundred, not for fact of two hundred. Even there, there was a we can say that development or enrichment of English vocabulary is from seventeen fifty to nineteen twenty eight. Forty eight thousand converted into the four lakhs words, and they suggest that English is the most richest and extensive vocabulary. But how 
can it it is possible dear friends how the vocabulary was enriched and today we discuss about that english language enriched its vocabulary so there was one of the play role play by the word formation according to the requirement of industry requirement professional requirement we can say that a gender requirement that each get each new words were developed you never to only derive from the other language so how we can discuss about that how it is possible that the two day we discuss in the word formation how it goes that then we can say that enrichment of english vocabulary english vocabulary english vocabulary borrowing from the native element or from foreign terms there is first in a simple way that how it is possible for the 48000 word become for lakhs and now it was upgraded and enriched that so here we can give that it is possible that the enrichment of english language or english vocabulary so the english vocabulary borrowing borrow which in the borrowing from that native language those are the language spoken by the english people in england and the borrowing from the foreign terms because foreign terms means those are the continent we can say that they have been british and ruled over there and from that they borrow the words and in this way english language become the english english vocabulary for we can say that there was a large english vocabulary becomes and that we can say that dear friends here there are the we can discuss about that three different method how how it is possible the how the english language was don't worry about dear friend i can give you the photocopies of that printed material which helpful to you to understand that i discuss about the key point of it that dear friends okay friends so here the, there are three different methods which are helpful or we can say that supportive for that to enrich the growth of english vocabulary or enrichment of english vocabulary and these three methods we simply define with explanation you can easily have to understand which is which are helpful to understand them and these are three methods are composition compose compose sangrahit kar compose kar na musician compose the song yes composition i have tried second one is derivation let us do you so that word in linguistic knowledge we are dear friends we use the word the okay word is derived from the american english homophones and homonyms the word homo is derived from the greek language yes it is what the derivation and after the root we have root a the derivation and third the root creation from the original root is created the new word it is called that and these are three methods one by one we try to understand the first one composition what is the meaning of the composition composition means joining together of the two words what is it composition means joining together of the together of the two words here i try to analysis of it that is simplified that that the joining together of the two words already existing in the language to form a new one what is you have to joining the two words you can one word take from that other language other yes due to industry revolution there are a number of the words tele phone very good dear ten telepathy television the one word is derived from the greek and other from the latin one word derived from the french other from the english one word derived from the other language one word is from other language and these two words are composed and the making the new words and i give you that example of that for example steam boat that was that's it that one of the example of it is that here is the steam boat one and other two words together and becoming the new words i can also give the example of that pull up car three four there was a you know you use the pull up and another one is the 
number of the word here again. Bulog cars. And Bulog cars. And there are the two words Bulog, Bulog, and car, car. From three books, from the book. There was a steam board. There are the two joining the two words together and become the one words. And there are the number of the, uh, we can use the Bulog cars, camel cars. And it is, we can use that word. And there are different two words put together and become the washing machine. Washing machine. There are the two different words together and they become the one. It is called the beer and composition. Second one is derivation means it means making of new word out of existing one by adding prefix or suffix. Okay, you can understand my dear friend. What is the prefix and what is the suffix? Prefix means pre primary, primary, purva, agav, purva, and suffix pachan. We can hear, we can give the very beautiful example to my dear friends. I can give